welcome to a new video but before we get into the video i would like to take a moment to thank my channel members whose names are appearing on screen now from next month i will have a new intro i will film some new footage of the dogs and the cats in their new environment just bear with me i just need to get some footage together however if you wish to become a channel member and support the channel you can do so by clicking the link in the description the first tier will get your name on screen at the beginning of reaction videos the second tier will get your name on screen plus you will have access to bi-weekly members only live streams and the third tier will get you both of those things as well as a members only video on the weeks where there is no a live stream these videos are usually life updates or get ready with me today videos sometimes they're cooking videos it's it's a bit of everything really you don't have to become a member you can also support the channel by sending a super thanks or by simply liking commenting and subscribing now that that is out of the way let's get into the video hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Lona I'm also known as Shikara Transformations I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder oh my god my bicep looks well good in this light here check that out I don't even train my biceps I'm not allowed to train them because they're too big already and that's not a joke I don't train my arms or chest and I train my back and my shoulders very little sad times but it is what it is instead I just have a, a hamstring day, a glute day, a quad day, and a lower body day. And it seems to be working quite well so far. So if you're curious to see what that's all about, then be sure to check out my dedicated vlog playlists that I have. I have prep playlists. I have an off-season one now, loving the cooking of the things. This morning I went into Lidl. I bought lots of shit I don't need. So that means that um, when I'm gonna do my next full day of eating, I will be trying out new recipes because I bought things, apparently. So TikTok recipes, recipes in general, it is. I'm, I've been having great fun doing, uh, exploring recipes and eating healthier and just a bit more varied with my diet. But you're not here for this. You are here to watch me react. And today we are going to react to Glitters and Lasers, which has been a while since I looked at her video. She kind of just does the reels, which reminds me I'm going to try and upload a TikTok today, which you would maybe might have seen by now. I'm not sure. It depends on whether I can find the time and the energy to put a TikTok together. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like making TikToks. <laughs> but I know that the reels are good for the channel, so I do need to. And I did film my hamstring day this morning, all of the exercises. So might be interesting for people to see how I trade my hamstrings. Basically, the goal is to have basically massive hamons hanging down the back of my legs. But anyway, we're here to look at Glitz and Lasers because apparently she can help update and surprising news from her doctor. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't actually know. So let's figure out together. The interesting thing that I'm noticing just looking at her standing here is that first of all, I'm just, I thought she was supposed to be losing weight. Clearly that's not been happening. Unless um, she carries a lot of her weight in her um, in her in the fupa area, and like that's come down, I don't know. But um, yeah, let's just take a look. Whilst I finish my decaf coffee here, because I do want to have a nap. I like my afternoon naps, and if I don't have a nap, if I have a coffee, I won't be able to have a nap. So. On that note, all right, so I don't know what's up. My OBS is crashing. It doesn't want to launch at all. Neither is my other screen record. So doesn't matter. What I will do is I'll just download the file and Frankenstein this reaction. So let's just get into it, shall we? Because I'm, I've just wasted far too much time. Not that you would know, but I have. So let's do the playback speed to 1.25 and let's go. Today I'm going to talk about something that I haven't really talked about for a while. And the reason I haven't talked about it in a while is I've been figuring some stuff out. Today we're gonna to talk about my health. So as you guys know, I have been trying to find a doctor and it's been a process. It's been a while to find someone that I really trust. And I have that person now and I am in, like extremely grateful for them. Um, going to the doctor was terrifying. In fact, I pretty much had a panic attack on my first appointment with the doctor I have now. He was very kind and very sweet to me. So everything netted out okay. But I did find out some things that I did not know that were pretty scary. So, I mean, I, I would have said, I can understand, well, I can't understand because I'm not her size, but I can imagine that 
for somebody that is over a certain size going to the doctor is a scary experience because I don't know I do feel like a lot of the times maybe people that struggle with obesity get kind of like fobbed off with issues uh, and basically get told to lose weight which they should don't get me wrong like they should be told to lose weight also because it is beneficial to health but I also think that doctors should make sure that they are taking uh, the time to do proper diagnoses and, pro and uh, th 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 I also do believe that doctors should take the time to take uh, to do a proper investigation into what the issues are um, and not just tell people to lose weight because obviously that's not uh, conductive to a conversation or to change. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what she's got going on, eh? Before I get into what those were, and I'm not going to tell you super big details on it because honestly, it's none of your business. Uh, but I am going to, but let me explain why I'm making this video because there's a very important reason why I'm making this video. Uh, I actually debated about making it for a really long time. You can tell I'm really uncomfortable talking about this right now. This is not something I, I mean, I don't necessarily want to share this with the internet, but I feel like it's my responsibility to share this today with the internet. Uh, whether I like it or not, people look up to me and people listen to me. And I think that this video could help save somebody's life. And that is why I'm making it. And I'll leave it at that. I mean, it's fair enough if whatever she's going to talk about, she has got a point. She is a person of influence. She does get a lot of views usually on her uh, videos and stuff like that. So whatever she's going through hopefully it is nothing serious and like hopefully like she says she can help somebody out um it's just a shame that we'll just have to wait and see what she says before i get into that so as a creator and as just a plus size person in general i hear two things about my body all the time on one end i hear from the body positive community or just general plus size community that I should love my body, accept it as it is, and, and learn to embrace and love everything about it, okay? On the other side, I hear from people who are very anti-fat people in general, telling me that I should starve myself, that I should not eat, that I should exercise more. Mm, I don't think I fall in either. I don't believe in starvation or an excess exercise. I'm sure people will, can argue that what I do is excessive in terms of like, well, obviously my preparations is excessive, but I mean, my day-to-day -day life, yeah, like I'm an active person and I like to weight train, but just because I like to weight train, I don't think that that's in excess going to the gym for like an hour to an hour and a half every day. Not every, I don't even weight train every day. Hey baby, I do it uh, five times a week. So I'm more in the camp of eating, nourishing your body properly, fueling your body properly by making sure you eat plenty of whole foods, enjoy fast food and junk food in moderation, uh, enjoy alcohol in moderation and train up, do exercise because it makes you feel good. It doesn't, you know, hey baby, you don't have to exercise to do weight training. It doesn't have to be weight training, it can be anything. Yesterday I took my girls for a very nice little walk. Um, you know, stuff like that is good too. You know, if you want to go for hiking, whatever your, whatever you like to do, just keep your body active and don't just sit on your big bum all day long watching TV. What is it, baby? Are you being a happy girl? Are you being a happy girl? Oh, is a happy girl. It's Rosie. Yes. <laughs> and frankly, I gave both of these audiences way too much of my attention. And what ended up happening is as I started to gain weight over the last couple of years, uh, unbeknownst to me how or why, I started to take from this side that, you know, kind of critiques fat people. I started to take that if I was tired or exhausted or upset at the end of the day, that that's because I was overweight. And so I began to work very, very hard on getting into shape and getting um, and pushing myself really beyond the limits that I should have. And that's a very honest response. Um, and I always just felt extremely tired. So, but I kept pushing and I would push myself so hard that oftentimes after a really big thing that I pushed through, I would need two days, sometimes a week to recover, which is not normal. It's not normal, but I thought it was normal because I kept hearing from this audience that it was because I was lazy. And I would say to um, people in my life that I'm, I'm so out of shape. I need to get better in shape. This shouldn't affect me as much. And I would say that all the time. And I would literally like beat myself up for not being in shape enough. Okay. Even though I was trying and I was really doing all the right things to get there. I I, I kind of get the argument she's going to try and get to and obviously the reason she's feeling a certain way is because, excuse me, is because of the fact that she's, um, she's got a health problem. 
But let's be real, being like 500 pounds or whatever she is, is, go is going to make you lethargic. Like there's no way that having so much extra body fat is not physically exhausting on the body. It's like if I can notice a difference on my body, whether I'm 68 kilos, whether I'm 72 kilos, 75 kilos or 80 kilos, trust me, doing just general exercise at 80 kilos is a lot harder than what it is when I'm around 72, 73 kilos. Like the weight that I'm now is like a prime weight for me. I'm strong, I'm energized, I sleep well, my normal hormone functions returned, but at the same time, I'm very athletic looking still, but at the same time, I'm starting to get things like cellulite and stuff like that. So uh, the point with this being is, is that if I can notice a difference of like eight kilos, which is what like 16 pounds, whether I'm like 72 kilos or 80 kilos, you cannot, I cannot believe for a second that she's like, that you are 500 pounds or 450 pounds or wherever she is. And that's not making a difference on how she's feeling in terms of like energy and endurance, etc. Oh, do you want to come? Is that what it is? Do you want to come for a cuddle? Do you want to come for a cuddle? Is that what it is? Huh? Do you want to come for a cuddle? Give me it in. Okay. Oh, but my big girl. She needed some attention. She needed some attention. I need to go for a walk, actually. We'll go straight for a walk. Yes. I wasn't progressing, and I wasn't um, showing any difference in in my levels of stamina and, and and some other things. Okay. On this side, it was like love your body as you are. You know, you are this way because you are right. And so I I was caught in this middle where I both attacked myself mentally every day for not being able to do what a what a thin person what I thought was just my weight couldn't do. Um, and then also embrace and love my body thought, this is just the way it is, okay? So this is kind of what led me not to go to a doctor. Also from, from the fat community, I heard that doctors are scary. Doctors will just tell you about weight loss. Doctors are just gonna prescribe you medication and tell you that that's the solution to your problems. I just don't understand what it is with all of these influences, how they put so much effort, uh, not effort, so much emphasis, sorry, I don't know where effort came from. I don't know why they put so much emphasis on what other people think about them all the fucking time. It's like you literally choose this as a job, as a career, whatever it is, right? Or you fell into it, wherever it may be. Why, why is it that so many people on the internet are so, especially people that are in a person, that have channels, that are choosing to edit and upload content, why are you so bothered about what other people think about you? To a degree that you're giving yourself like de depression and anxiety. It's like fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry, like I'm getting really fed up with all these people that really have like quite privileged jobs. Like, cause I can recognize that what I do is pretty privileged. You know, like, it's quite a luxury to just film. Like for example today, like I film whenever I want, I edit whenever I want. It's a luxury that a lot of people don't have. But then for me to go and say this, like, oh, somebody said a mean thing or somebody has an opinion that they don't agree with or somebody has this. It's like, yeah, all of that happens to me too. It happens to everybody. This is part and parcel of the job of being an online persona. Stop fucking crying about what other people think and what other people think you should do and just do what you think is right. And then you don't have these problems. I don't stress about what other people think about me. Like... You know, let me film a video, and then after that, I'm gonna walk my dogs, I'm gonna have a nap, I'm gonna edit the video, do some emails, do some cleaning, do some eating, walk my dogs again, have a cuddle with them, and that's it. Like, the internet is, that says, that this, this is it for me. Like, I let you do the videos, I edit the videos, and that's it. I don't, like, I don't spend too much time worrying about what other people think about me. Like, why is it that someone, like, and I'm, that it's not like me trying to flex or anything. The point with this being is that I just don't understand it. I don't understand people who choose to do this for a living. And it's not just her, it's so many creators. It's, you're choosing to put yourself out there, you're choosing to make this your job, yet you cry all the time about people having opinions. Like, well, like, what do you expect? This is this this is what you're doing. You are putting yourself out there to thousands, millions of people, if you're lucky, to watch you. Do you really think that all of those million people are, or all of those thousands of people, nay, 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 nay. Do you really think that all of those thousands of people are gonna just agree with everything you're saying? No, there's always gonna be somebody that has something to say. 
Jesus Christ. I don't, know, I don't know why that just like irritated me, but it just it just did today, all right? It just irritated me today. Just the the constant moaning of creators that are so privileged about basically the opinions of others. It's like Jesus, if it's such a problem, get off the freaking internet. So I built a deep fear of um, being told to lose weight, and also a deep fear of taking any medication or solution to lose weight. Okay. So both of these sides yelled at me, and I made. I'm going to say right now, here and now, bad choices. Maybe not bad choices, but choices that weren't my choices. I was making choices based on this input, which is my own fault, by the way. It's my own damn fault. This video should just be titled, It's My Own Damn Fault, because it is. Well, at least she has the ability to recognize that. Eventually, I got to the point where I started to realize how much these two voices yelled at, that, yelled at me. Actually, I would say I learned that this side was yelling at me. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to be as big as I am right now. And I want to investigate how I can change it. And this has nothing to do with being attractive, by the way. I literally do not care if you find me, uh, excuse my French fuckable. I do not care. Uh, I do not care if you want to sleep with me. I don't care if you find me beautiful. I, really, I just don't. I, it's not important to me. Um, but what is important to me is mobility and being active. And I didn't want to feel tired all the time, exhausted all the time from basic everyday activities. So I decided to just kind of tune out this crowd, maybe listened a little bit too much to the people over here. And I finally decided I'm gonna go to the doctor and I'm going to get one of the new hormonal weight loss drugs that are out there. And this is really what led me to go to the doctor. What is that? Oh, Zempic, is it or something else? And part of this had to do with the campaign I did um, with a brand earlier that talked about, you know, you should be seeing a doctor if you're overweight as your first step to any solution. And you know what? A lot of people hated on that campaign, but in a lot of ways that campaign saved my life because it got me thinking about, yeah, you know, I don't really know why I'm overweight and I should be talking to someone. And yeah, I have a bedema, but it's like, is that really the cause? And like, who knows what's going on with my body? So I made an appointment with a doctor. Again, I totally freaked out, had a panic attack there. Um, we took some labs and my doctor literally said to me, he's like, I can't give you a diet and I can't give you anything until I see what these labs come back as. Cause that would be like irresponsible of me. It sounds pretty sound to me. So uh, he that's fair enough. I think it's quite important to do your labs uh, just to keep make sure that everything is in order. Like even if you're just a normal person, you, you never know. Um, like in somebody that's obviously into bodybuilding like myself and the occasional use of performance enhancers, it's really important to make sure your labs are good. But um, I think anybody should just get them done a couple of times a year just to see what's up and because you never know. It could just be a case of like, oh, maybe you are feeling a lot more tired or run down than what you think you are and you think it's normal and it turns out that like, I don't know, your hormone is low or like your thyroid is not functioning properly or whatever, you know, it could be anything. So it's always worth doing. I don't know if they're like pricey in many other places. Over here, they're fairly, fairly reasonably priced. Well, everything is, but I'm sure if you have like medical insurance or something like that, maybe you can even just get it done with your doctor. I don't, I don't know how that works or whether you have to pay for private. I did suggest that I start eating five times a day, which <laughs> ironically, this group told me to eat less. My doctor told me to eat more and that we would, probably have another appointment once the labs came back. So fast forward about a week and a half, the labs come back and um, there are some interesting results. Uh, I'm not gonna share everything that was in them, but I will share the high level details. First and foremost, I am not diabetic. I am also do not have cholesterol issues and I don't really have anything like in that vein of the woods that my weight is affecting me with. It is affecting me in some of my mobility and my flexibility and Probably has a little issue with my joints, but all of the things that people like to shout that fat people are going to have, I, I'm not even near to having them. In fact, my doctor said my cholesterol looks fantastic. Okay. Um, but what did come back is that... I mean, your cholesterol is a lot, a lot of it is driven through diet though. If she doesn't have like a, a high processed fat diet, she's probably fine. I don't know what kind of stuff she eats, but you, you can overeat to be healthy. For my understanding, from my understanding, allegedly she's a drinker, so like I have no idea what kind of impact. Allegedly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the lore behind her very well, but um, I don't know what kind of impact alcohol has on cholesterol. And some people are just more prone to it. I'm fairly sure that cholesterol is like very much like a, things like cholesterol and diabetes and certain heart problems. You are more prone to have them if you are certain skin colors or certain ethnicities. So it just could just well be that she's lucky in the sense that she's just not prone to getting any of those diseases. Daisy, were you being a little naughty girl? Hey. I am severely anemic. Uh, I think the, the doctor said like he was really confused at how I was even functioning uh, with the level of anemia that I have. 
Um, and that I also have some autoimmune disorders and they are pretty dominant and they are going to need special programs to deal with. Additionally, I have um, some other issues that I really don't know what they are now, but I'm seeing another specialist for. Uh, they can see basically the effects of these issues, but they don't know what the, the which is the root cause of the issue. I know that's vague, but I, I, I don't want to tell you something and be wrong. Uh, they know that stuff is happening in my body that should not be happening, but they don't know why it's happening. So I've been referred to two specialists to deal with these issues. It is going to be um, a lot to deal with. I am going to be fine, but it is a dramatic change in my life. I've gone from taking no medication to taking medication twice a day. I have been on um, a whole lot of supplements and stuff for about a week now. And honestly, my energy is like starting to feel better. And I was like, if Anemia is fairly easily fixed, though, I think, right? It's just, uh, like, am I in shortest, usually speaking, right? I'm like, I don't know, obviously I'm not a doctor. But I think anemia is, like, really easy to fix with uh, medication. I don't know how people do become anemic, but uh, I don't know how people become anemic. But I know it's not a big thing. Like, it's a, obviously it is a problem, but it's not a difficult-to-fix problem. It's going to take, like, a couple months for it to get normal and even longer because there's something that's causing all of these issues that will need to be resolved and then I'll feel even better. Um, but I spent years, literally years, thinking it was because I was lazy and because I was out of shape and because I was, you know, fat, that I, that I was so tired and I was so exhausted. And I pushed my body and I hurt my body. Can you imagine how she would feel if she was actually a healthy weight? So, I don't deny for a second that some of the way she's feeling is because of her medical problems. But let's not deny that being this big is not a, a, an enormous pressure on the body. Because it is too. So imagine how good she would actually feel if she did have the extra, what is it, 300, 400 pounds on her body. Because I was actually very sick. And... I just feel like I have to make a video. So if someone out there is thinking like, should I go to the doctor? Like, are they gonna be mean to me? You shouldn't care whether they're mean to you. You should care whether they can help you figure out what's going on. And if they tell you to lose weight, well, that's like, if that's like the worst thing that could happen, I think it's worth it, to be really honest. I think it's worth going. I mean, fair play to her for at least saying that, right? Cause like, let's be real in this grand scheme of things, a doctor telling you to lose weight is maybe not nice to hear and like yeah you want to get a proper diagnosis but in the grand scheme of problems in the world that's very much a first world problem isn't it like that's literally the definition of it somebody telling you you're fat like don't get me wrong like i can i understand how it's a problem and how it mentally can be very taxing and all of that but she is very right it's like at the end of the day if you've got a medical problem and you refuse to see if you if you don't feel well and you refuse to go to doctor because somebody might a doctor might tell you to lose weight. It's not nice to hear, potentially, but it's not the biggest of problems, is it? Excuse me. Um, it is, I mean, like, it is a problem, but you know what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm losing my track of thought because my dog keeps slipping and sliding on my lap here. Going to the doctor and learning why you feel the way you feel, even if you may not like what they have to say. I couldn't have ever expected that I would find out what I found out when I went to the doctor. I am still processing and dealing with the fact that in some ways I'm healthier than I thought I was, but in other ways I am sick and that sucks. And it's nothing that's going to kill me, but it is something that's like mentally screwed with my brain because I avoided this experience because I let assholes tell me how to feel about my body. I let strangers interpret how I felt. If you don't feel good, go to the doctor. If you're tired and you don't know why, go to the doctor. If you're gaining weight and you don't know why, go to the doctor. Don't go to Weight Watchers. Don't go to Google. Don't go to the body positive community. Don't go to the weight loss community. Go to the fucking doctor. I mean, she's not wrong. I can't, like what she's saying is right, you know. Doctors are there for a reason. If you, have, if you think there's something medically wrong with you, yeah, then you should go to a doctor. And I'm sorry if I'm so passionate about it, but I am pissed at myself. I am mad. I could have been treating this. But instead, I was listening to these idiots who knew nothing about me. And now I have to deal with my decision. 
I have, I have to deal with it and I am worse off for it. So if you get anything from this video, if you have not had your annual checkup, if you have not had your annual blood labs, if you haven't had your pap smear, if you haven't had your regular annual checkups, please go, please book an appointment today. Please get it checked out because I don't want you to be like me because I was stupid and I did the wrong thing and I thought I was fine because I couldn't tell. And now that I'm starting to feel better, I didn't realize how bad I felt because I talked. I can believe that too, but just like, I don't want to reiterate this, but imagine if she was like at a healthy weight, how, how much better she would even feel then. Because myself out of believing that I actually felt that way. Okay. I don't have anything else to say, but please, please see your doctor. That's it. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna, John, just cut the video. I don't have anything else to say. I'm, I'm a mess. This was kind of like a healthy but big situation. <laughs> If you know, you know. Anyway, no, I don't, like, um, I mean, obviously, I think it's a good thing that she put this out there. She has a large following, so it is definitely good that she's advocating for people to go to the doctor. Like, don't listen to the internet. The internet doesn't know the answers to the problems. Doctors should do their job properly, and they might not. And that's also, you know, something you have to take into consideration. Um, on the note, I am going to go because um, I need to walk my dogs and I want to have a nap. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, insert anything doctor related as an emoji. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Hopefully the audio is a bit better now. This is where I'm going to find out that it's been shit the whole time. But hopefully it's fine. We keep working, guys. I'll keep fixing it. I'll get it right eventually. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I'll see you in the next video. And it's not like, by the way, about the audio, it's not like I don't test these things beforehand. I do. It's just sometimes when you're editing it and you are in the editing software with the other files that you're using, that's when you really hear the contrast and the difference. Like, so for me just to... Oh. So whilst it may sound good to me when I'm just doing bits of recording and stuff like that, it's usually not, you don't really know it until you're putting it into like editing software. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's a problem for me, not for you. I'm going to go now. Bye guys.